Hi everyone, Joe for Jazby's Hobby and here another one box break of Star Wars Masterwork by Topps. Um, this has been a masterful release. I'm, I've been definitely enjoying this. This is break number 11 and uh, looks like Bowman and Curtis are going to be enjoying this one as well. So first of all, let's generate a number between 1 and 8, see which box we're going to do in our final case of Masterwork. Number 2, and that would be this one right here. Number 2. Let's set this right here. And just for consistency's sake, I'll, I'm just going to number them one through four left to right because that's just how we've been doing it. Random.org will do the work. Right there. So there's one, two, three, and four. So then we'll go back to random.org. There are the names right here, and we'll randomize that list eight times four and a four, eight the hard way. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eighth and final time. Curtis on top and Bowman with the next three after eight times. And as you can see, folks, I have the next one box break of Star Wars in the store right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Um, as you guys may have surmised already from all these breaks, uh, I am a big Star Wars fan, so so let's do this. Uh, the, we pulled a dual auto out of the first, but is, why is everyone saying the box one is cursed? Is it really? Is there really a pattern? Should I mix them up next time? I, no, I think I think they're all different. No, see, there's no medallion in here. Oh, maybe there is. So should I should I randomize these boxes next time? I mean, I don't know. We only have six boxes left. Could be a one-of-one one medallion, Curtis. There's Wedge Antilles. Nice. That's numbered. 32 out of 99. Curtis, you might remember this. Who was uh, who was Ewan McGregor's uncle that was, a, that was a rebel pilot in like A New Hope? Was it Wedge? I don't think it was Wedge. Maybe some other guy? I forget. Maybe you remember. Oh, look at this. Show of force, 39 out of 50. Oh, was it Porkins? It was Porkins. 39 out of 50, right on the, you can see the wood grain right there. See that? Nice, 39 out of 50. There you go, force display. I don't think I don't think box one is cursed at all. Oh, it's not Porkins. I have no idea. So he he is someone someone must know. There's that's trivia. There's Chewbacca. Hey George, uh, I want a purple lightsaber. And then George Lucas goes, okay. That's how that happened. And indeed, it is a medallion. Maybe I'll randomize the boxes next time. Uh, commemorative medallion, Battle of Hoth, Chewbacca. All right, Curtis. There you go. That wood frame, that wood card is, is pretty nice. Looks like a good one. All right, and Bowman, you have the next three. Two, three, and four, right? Yes, two, three, and four. You have the next three. Good luck, sir. Start with box two. We have Yoda. We've got, oh, great rivalries indeed. Who shot first? Uh, yeah, I'll show you the wood frame again. It's worth, it's worth looking at again. Not a wood frame, the entire card is wood. Look at that.
Princess Leia Organa. We've got Kylo Ren with his fuzzy lightsaber. Come on. Does he does he even does he even know how to lightsaber? Doesn't even know how to doesn't even know how to do that. Doesn't even can't even lightsaber. Doesn't even know how to build one. And ah, Dr. Colonia. Uh, that's Harriet Walter on card auto and probably one of the more amusing scenes in uh in The Force Awakens. Oh, you must be so brave. So brave. It's a nice one. That sounds very scary. Did Chewie have a crush on her? Is that what it is? He's like trying to Im impress her? Interesting. There's Kira Knightley. Oh, I mean, it's Padme. Uh, Kylo Ren and Rey, great rivalries. Very cool snow scene there. We saw it foreshadowed in the uh, in Ray's Force Vision. There's the Ember. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> Dark side. <laughs> Claw two. I don't remember this guy at all. Uh, why do I not remember this dude? I don't remember this dude. I don't remember him at all. I don't know why. I should, but I don't. Can't know everything. Nice. It's numbered. 249. That's very cool. Authentic Royal Mail stamp. I actually like all the stamps. 235 out of 249. Nice Stormtrooper one. And the last box for Bowman. He had three. Let's see what he gets. Good luck. All right. There's Darth Vader. 39 out of 99. And there's Greedo. 52 out of 99. Alien Identification Guide. Nice. I like that. We pulled a sketch card of his back in the day, some different Star Wars product. Um, funny thing that you guys should do if you if it's on YouTube somewhere. Um, so the the actor that played Darth Vader, right, was like this really tall like German dude with like an or Austrian dude with a heavy accent, but he still spoke the line, so the actors have something to react to, right, before they voiced over James Earl Jones uh, in, in the movie. But if you can find scenes on YouTube or somewhere. Where the original actor is actually saying the lines, comedy gold. It's hilarious. All right, there's Edza, uh, Ezra Bridger from the animated series, which I enjoy. And there is Maz kan uh, Kanata. Nice. Do you know at her castle, um, where her pub is, all those flags there are like pod racing flags and stuff like that. Sports stuff. Sports stuff. They like sports. And we've got Salacious Crumb. Nice. 36 out of 50. <laughs> right? Isn't, isn't that what he does? Salacious Crumb. That's Mark Dodson. See, they didn't need Mark Dodson to do that. I could have done it. Maybe he's just a puppeteer. The voice. I could have done the voice. That's an on-card auto. That's really nice. 36 out of 50. You kind of see the refracting right there, too. All right, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Bowman saying, oh, he based, so Bowman has, has an addition to the story. He says he basically stopped following the script after he found out that James Earl Jones is going to voice him over, and he just said random lines. Even better. It's great. That's Star Wars. That's random pack break number 11 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We only have one, two, three, four, five boxes left. That's it. So if you want to get in on it, go for it. We also have Spectra down to two teams left. That's a half case pick your team break right here. I think that's already filled up maybe. jazbeeshobbyland.com. A lot of great stuff. This is Joe. I'll see you next time. May the force be with you.